Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kat and today I'm going to be setting up the first blue journal theme of the first month of the year, January 2024. I'm really excited to show you everything that I did for my January pages. I'm using a brand new notebook from Takti and I'm really excited to show you everything that I did for January. So let's get started with my setup for the first month of the year. As per usual, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you're enjoying it and let's get started. If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that pretty much every single January theme that I did is blue and I wanted to continue the tradition even though I failed last year, I believe. But I wanted to do a blue theme for January and I got these washi tapes from Notebook Therapy a while ago, but I just never used them in a theme itself. These are the Inoki Into the Wave washi tapes and they also have a stamp set and I'm going to link everything in the description below. But I fell in love with this set because one of the washi tapes is literal waves with holographic film and they just look so detailed and beautiful and simple that I knew that I wanted to use them for a theme and I finally found a theme that would match my energy with those washi tapes. And the other washi tape is just filled with ocean elements like sea creatures, people at the beach, stars, um, boats, fishes, everything, and a bunch of bubbles. And it's just so beautiful that I knew that I wanted to do an ocean theme for January. As you know, you can use code CATSPLANNER at Notebook Therapy for 10% off. And alongside the washi tapes, I'm also using gouache, which is a first timer in a bullet journal, I believe. But I'm going to use these Arteza gouaches. I got these like two or three years ago and I just never used them in my bullet journal. Just in pen pal letters and art pieces that I do, but never in a bullet journal theme. And I'm just using two of them to kind of blend the blues together, you will see. But I just wanted to paint more in 2024 and I'm starting it now. So I really hope you enjoy this theme that I did for January. So the first thing that I'm doing in my January theme is my cover page. And I knew that I wanted to implement the waves somehow in my bullet journal, but not make it too about the waves. So instead of adding a layer of waves at the bottom of the page, I added two. And this took a little bit of time to put together because I wanted the waves to look natural. So as you know, when you look at the ocean, you see multiple waves at the same time, but they are not all crumpled up in one place. It's very natural. I wanted that in my bullet journal. I considered adding more waves throughout the page, but I felt like it only made sense at the bottom. So I put two strips of washi tapes at the bottom to fill in the page and to look like literal waves. This process was a bit difficult to do because the holographic film on the washi tape at the bottom was kind of coming off every time that I stick the top one. And it was a bit messy, but hopefully you can't see where the holographic film came out. But if you pretend to buy these washi tapes, just make sure that you are very careful when applying them to the page, because the holographic film is not sticky, it's just pressed on the washi tape, I believe, so it's not, like, very durable. And as you can see, you can't tell that there are two strips of washi tapes at the bottom of the page, and that was my goal for the biggest element of these pages. And now I'm moving on to the painting portion of the setup because this part needs to dry because then I'm going to add a lot of pen on top and stickers so this part needs to be one of the first to be done. And I'm going to use the gouaches from Arteza to make an ombre effect that matches the colors of the waves for the box of my to-do list for the month. I chose two tubes of gouache that would kind of resemble the colors of the waves at the bottom and I use the lighter one and the darker one and I'm creating an ombre effect between them for the inside of the box of my to-do list. And I use the flat brush to mix them all together in my palette on the side and a little bit of water so they would blend better together. I haven't used gouache in a hot second so I was a bit confused about how to blend colors and I didn't have any practice before the setup so I was a bit scared of messing up my page but thankfully my artist inside was still alive and I was able to do a pretty ombre effect from darker to lighter uh, on the page and it turned out really good. I did two coats of this, so this is the first one and then I closed my notebook so the page will dry flat and then I painted a little bit on top just to make sure that the colors would mix better together and it turned out really great. The only problem was that you can see the strokes of the painting but I actually like how they look because they look like the ocean and the page didn't held up with the water and the gouache so I had to stick two pages together but for me that's not an issue this is just something that I wanted to mention. 
I haven't used gouache in a while, I just used watercolors the other day, but I really want to start painting more in 2024, so this was a challenge for me, and the other day we painted Christmas balls together, so this is just me forcing myself to paint, because I really want to paint more next year, and so I'm just trying to implement more paintings into my bullet journal. And I hope you're enjoying this little process, because this is just the beginning of painting in my bullet journal, for real. Once that was dry, I moved on to the titles of my setup, and I'm using my Kuretake brush pen. I've been using this pen for over a year now, and I just love it so much. I had other brush pens that I used, but this one is my favorite, so this is the one that I recommend you try to use. And so I used that pen to write January on the left page, and this month on the right for my monthly to-do list. My cover page is going to double as my goals page because last year I actually did this for my January setup. I had a section for goals and I didn't really use it, but this time I want to try again. And this is my experience with bullet journal. You do one page one time, two times, it doesn't work. Maybe it's not the right time. Now I feel like I should try it again, so that's what I did. And I'm going to have three lines at the bottom that are for my goals. So I basically want to focus my attention on three things this January, and those are the things that are going to be on these blue lines. On my monthly to-do list, I added some details with my Arteza 0.7 gel pen. I added some lines around the box so it would blend better with the page and I added a white shadow on the letters at the bottom with my Archer and Olive white pen. This was a Christmas present last year from one of my friends and I just love this pen a lot. I used to use the Sakura Jelly Roll white pen but this one is really good. And to bring the life out of these pages because they are really white, I'm going to use the other washi tape from the Into the Wave collection to stuck a bunch of stickers on these pages. These stickers are not peelable, so you actually have to cut them and peel them by hand on the washi tape, which I don't really enjoy. I prefer when the washi tape is peelable, but I don't think Notebook Therapy has a washi tape like that. It's just something that I prefer in my washi tapes that are stickers. I prefer them to be peelable, but these are not, so just keep that in mind. But I used a bunch of them to stick a bunch of ocean elements on these pages. And I put some of them on top of the blue box because I like when things blend up together and they just don't look separate, if that makes sense. I really like how this theme turned out. And now let's move on to my other pages for January. My next pages for this setup are going to be my trackers and my brain dump. And before I show you all the pages, since I'm still putting all of the washi tapes and painting the square, I'm going to talk about some things that I want to include in my channel and in my shop for 2024. So the first thing is that I want to bring back the real-time Plan With Me videos. I started doing those in 2020 with a pandemic because I've always post um, these 15-minute setups on my channel, but when the pandemic hit, I realized that a lot of people did not have um, their friends to journal with, and I was like, maybe I can be that journal friend, and I started posting real-time bullet journal setups where it would be like an hour or an hour and a half where you would do your bullet journal with me in real time, and I would ask and answer questions, and I would play some lo-fi music, whatever, and it was a way for you to journal with me. And even though we're not in the pandemic anymore, I feel like I want to bring those back again with some themes for each video. I'm going to post my January one next week, so you are watching the speed up version and I'm going to have a slow paced version in real time next week for you to watch and plan your theme with me. And I know it's Christmas and it's not going to be viewed by everyone, but I still want to post it because I feel like a lot of people need to just relax, sit back and plan in your journal. I feel like sometimes if I didn't make these videos, I didn't have the time or the patience to set up my bullet journal properly. And if you need a friend to journal with and someone to talk to, just know that those videos are for that, exactly. And this one I'm going to just do with my goals for the year. I'm going to talk a little bit about my goals for 2024, my ideas for my shop, my ideas for my channel, my life, whatever. And if you would like to tune in and set up your bullet journal with me, just wait for next week and we'll can set up our journals together. I always appreciate your feedback and your opinions on my shop and on my channel. So feel free to comment anything that you would like to see on the new year on my channel and on my shop. I'm going to have a shop update 
in mid-January because I want to change platforms and I want to change how I set up my shop and I'm gonna add a bunch of products I'm gonna try to paint more and hopefully by the end of the year I can sell art prints and digital prints of my art and I want to start drawing digitally because I'm really really close to my goal on Kofi to buy an actual iPad to draw stickers so I'm really excited by that and so I'm going to talk more about it on my real-time plan with me video for January now let's get back into my pages and my first one is my trackers so in november i did a trackers page with my habits and i didn't really use it because i wasn't really feeling like tracking my habits yet in december i did for my marketing course and my content creation tracker and it worked really, really well i'm creating content daily and studying almost daily as well and for this page i'm also including a tracker for my workout so yeah those are the trackers and i did the same layout for the trackers that I did in December, just these little lines with the squares that represent each day of the month and I'm just going to paint them in if I completed the habit on that day. And I'm going to have one for content creation which includes taking pictures, filming reels, editing things, brainstorming things for my shop, my, for my marketing course which is basically the course from Google that I'm taking right now and the days that I work out because even though I work out like three to four times a week I still want to track how frequent that is and how many days I skip uh, between workouts. So those are my trackers for January. And my right page is going to be for my brain dump. So I used to have a brain dump monthly on my bullet journal a couple years ago, but I just did this one for January because it's the beginning of the year. You know, I have a lot of ideas, I have a lot of things to brainstorm about and to do in January, so this is just for that. And if you don't know what a brain dump page is, I actually have a video explaining it in full detail that I'm going to link in the description, but it's essentially a page for you to just dump everything that is on your mind that you don't want to just keep it inside your head and you just want to put it into paper, this is the page for that. And I used to do it monthly, but now I just do it in a random notebook. But because January is a new month and a new year, I want to add it in my bullet journal. And in terms of designs, these are the same pages that I did for my previous ones because I wanted to keep them inside the same theme, so I didn't change a bunch. And yeah, I filled it in with a bunch of stickers and those are my pages for January. I really like how the theme turned out, I really like the blue and the waves and the fact that I used gouache in my bullet journal for the first time and then this is my starting point to start drawing more and painting more in my bullet journal. So I'm really excited to see how many themes with paintings I can do in this bullet journal for 2024. Leave a wave emoji if you watched the video until this point. Don't forget to subscribe to check out my shop and the links below and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!